Welcome to today's training session on the Lean PDC, a countermeasures process for manufacturing. We will begin with an overview of the PDCA cycle. Plan, do, check, act, and its critical role in lean manufacturing. Our goal today is to help you understand how to apply PDCA effectively to implement and improve countermeasures in your manufacturing processes. The PDCA cycle is a systematic approach to problem solving. It starts with planning, where problems are identified and goals are set. The next step is to do, where solutions are implemented. After that, the check phase involves monitoring and measuring the outcomes. Finally, ACT involves either standardizing successful solutions or making necessary adjustments. In the plan phase, identifying the problem and its root cause is crucial. Tools like the five whys and fishbone diagram can help in this analysis. Once the root cause is identified, it's important to set SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound to guide your countermeasures. After identifying the problem, the next step is to develop countermeasures. This involves brainstorming potential solutions and then prioritizing them based on impact and feasibility. Once the best countermeasures are selected, an action plan is created, detailing what needs to be done, by whom, and by when. One of the core principles of lean leadership is respect for people. This means empowering employees by involving them in decision-making and problem-solving. Teamwork is encouraged, fostering collaboration and mutual support. Leaders focus on the development and growth of their team members, providing opportunities for learning and advancement. The check phase is where you evaluate the effectiveness of the implemented countermeasures. This involves reviewing performance data and comparing the results with the initial goals. Any gaps between expected and actual performance should be identified, as these areas may require further action. In the ACT phase, if the countermeasures have proven successful, they should be standardized across the process. If not, adjustments need to be made and the PDCA cycle may be repeated. It's also important to document the entire process for future reference and continuous improvement. Let's look at a case study where the PDCA cycle was successfully applied. A mid-sized manufacturer identified a problem with their production line, developed countermeasures using PDCA and implemented them. As a result, they saw a 25% reduction in defects and a 15% increase in production efficiency. While the PDCA process is powerful, it comes with challenges. Common issues include a lack of deep understanding of the root cause, resistance to change from employees, and inconsistent monitoring during the do and check phases. Being aware of these challenges can help you mitigate them. Praxi provides simple yet powerful tools for plan, do, check, act, as well as dozens of other process solutions. Contact your representative to learn more. In conclusion, the PDCA cycle is a fundamental tool in lean manufacturing, driving continuous improvement through systematic problem solving. As you move forward, consider how you can apply the PDCA cycle to your own processes. And now that you're ready, complete your assessment today.